Welcome back. We're doing more Diablo 2. We talked to this lady. She opens up this portal here. And now we can go to Neelothok's house. In case anyone was one, you know. Actually, really quick before I do that, noticed. I want to find out which floor the TP is on. Halls of Pain. Yeah. Yeah, um, Neelothok was actually an NPC in town. He kind of disappeared when this girl. Also, yeah, it's kind of nice. So. Oh, yeah, and here's those zombies. Totally not yeah. suspicious at all. Yeah, these guys ri rise from the dead and they're fun to kill. This guy's a popular enemy to kill, too, for good items. Oh, yeah? Pindle skin. Oh, like a special enemy here? Yep. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about Neelothok. I was oh. like, I've never <laughs> no. heard of anyone farming him. Yeah, I mean, you can farm him in hell difficulty, but, you know, he's kind of. <laughs> Kind of hard to get to. I mean, most of the time, what you do is most people will just um, not grab the waypoint, and then the portal will stay open uh, uh, indefinitely, and then you can just farm that guy over and over. I kills can see. All the people there. I guess that'd work. It'd be at least very short and quick runs. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, done. You know, done a few times myself. But, you know, he has pretty good drops in hell difficulty. I see. Yeah. You know, Fortunately, in normal, I mean, you know, again, like a lot of the things with, you know, the items or whatever, you know, the getting the best drops for the best use of your time, you know, definitely helps to, like, kill him. And then, you know, that waypoint in the Frigid Highlands right next to the shank, the siege area, you know, that's mm -hmm. kind of where you can kill another one really easily. Sure. So. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. You guys probably didn't notice, but we plowed through him pretty quick. Yeah. I dropped um, a unique when I was on my single player barb. <laughs> Didn't give us a minute we were talking about before. Yeah. At least one version of him. So I think the way down is either going to be somewhere down at the bottom or somewhere at the top. Um, I don't know, this place is kind of a huge stinking maze. Yeah. It's a good thing we're killing everything really quick. We don't have time to waste on this crap. Seriously, though, it takes me like five hits to kill these guys, and then you just come through and make them all look bad. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. starting to think concentration was not the best idea for damage. Well, I mean, I mean, I picked this build my... because I thought it'd be fun to like have like all the defense and stuff. But well, the problem is like again, going back to melee characters and casters, like. I mean, to be honest, I mean, like, once you get Whirlwind, I mean, it'll help, but, mm -hmm. you know. Like, right now. Some AOE. Yeah, my, my mana right now is definitely not feeling great. Do I need definitely to uh, refresh BO? Oh, well, you could. I think the problem is, too, I didn't grab enough mana potions. Ah. Um, once you, uh. Once you have the runes to make it, there's a pretty sweet, uh. pull arm. That you can make um, helps with mana. Yeah. It's really easy to make too. There's always certain rune words that you love making, like you know when you've got experience, you know that you'll make rune words like you know for for basically you know like if you're a caster or your melee character or whatever, you know there's certain ones that you always like to make. But there's one in particular that's really great for uh, just slapping on your mercenary, you know, weapon that will help help with mana. Gives you the meditation aura. <laughs> What's meditation do? Uh, well, it just makes your mana go up really quick. Is it like uh, percentage based, or does it just give you like two per second or something? It's a uh, yeah, it's percentage based. So it's pretty I mean, sweet then. I don't know the specifics of it, but it's kind of like having this shrine on you all the time. Awesome. Can't complain about free mana. Yeah, and and it's, it's half the reason I'm using to, this sword is just so I can get some extra mana steel. <laughs> it's funny when you think about it. Just like all the high level rune words all have a uh, like paladin auras on them. Hmm. I wonder what that tells you. <laughs> the paladin's got way too many useful skills. <laughs> but then again, I mean, you know, again, like. 
if anything needs rebalancing, it's just the melee characters and the higher difficulties. Especially when you run into those physical immune guys. Yeah. I mean, at least none of the major bosses can be physical immune, so for the most part, at least if you're decently built, you should be able to hopefully avoid the enemies. They do a lot more damage in hell difficulty, so... Yeah, oh. definitely. So here's the floor at the waypoint. Um, but yeah, like in hell difficulty, like right now my health pretty much almost isn't dropping. Just because, like, it's so easy. Yeah. And we're killing things quickly. But in hell difficulty, like, we could be dropping like flies right now if we were trying to move at this pace without caring and just talking over everything. Oh, yeah. Hell is no joke. No, I mean, it, it's really like, you know, again, like the boss groups. As you see here, I mean, it's like, you know, in the normal difficulty, you know, you get the boss groups and they might have, uh, you know, just like one specific attribute, you know, they might resist physical damage or whatever, you know, but um, the higher difficulties, you know, nightmare difficulty, they'll get two abilities and then in hell of course we'll get three and you know you might have an enemy with like stone skin or whatever you know but then what happens when you get an enemy with stone skin and lightning enchanted oh, oh well, what, happens, what happens when you get an enemy with stone skin lightning enchanted and cursed oh jeez that sounds awful what happens if you get like a enemy that does lightning damage that you don't have really good resistances for is cursed is extra fast and they're also hard to kill, and they happen to resist your specific type of damage. Yeah, that's when it gets kind of interesting in hell. <laughs> that's when you, uh, it's kind of like you gotta I, go big or go home. I mean, I'm all for challenging enemies, especially like when you get into higher difficulties like that, but like... The avenue for I mean, come which on. They, they challenge the player is kind of... I mean, the, the, the methods in which they challenge the player, it's kind of like yeah. a very steep curve. Here's the waypoint. Yeah, there's got to be a better way to deal with that. I can't think of what it is while I'm just mindlessly, or semi-mindlessly, rampaging. But and Of course, the more players you have, the more HP they have, and the harder they are to kill. Uh -huh. so. But of course, if you have more players, assuming they're not like a group of like five barbarians or something silly like that. Like, if you had like a team of five players and we had like, say like uh, a druid, a paladin, and maybe a sorceress or something accompanying us here... Like a barbarian, too. Well, I meant like the two of us, and then like a sorceress, paladin, and uh. Right, right, yeah. Druid. yeah. Then, like, in general, it's like most likely if we run into something that, say, me and the paladin couldn't hurt, the rest of you could probably do something about it. If we run into something that you and the sorceress can't hurt, the rest of us could probably do something about it. Yeah. I have actually run into an enemy in hell once that was immune to physical and immune to magic. <laughs> and I think I was on my hammered in when I was fighting that. Does that My mean, elements? like, only elements would work, or not elements either? No, it would mean uh, element, elements would be the only thing that could kill it, so okay. poison, fire, cold, I was cold, just curious if, if elements countered as magic damage. Yeah. Well, like, this bone spear here does pure magic damage, yeah. so, like, if we ran into something like that, we'd both be pretty much screwed. Unless, like, like the only thing that would hurt would be, like, any poison damage you do, or whatever, or mm -hmm. any elemental damage. Well, that kind of would suck. Yeah. So, yeah, I think immunities are probably the thing that would need rebalancing, if anything. Like, maybe just giving them, like, a really high resistance to it. Yeah, I mean, I like, already stone skin is, like, good enough to make most of those enemies, like, a huge pain in the butt. Yeah. But, uh, making them straight-up immune is, is, yeah, probably a little overpowering. So I guess that would be a fairly easy fix. Yeah, just give them like you know, like make it like um, make it like players. Just like you know, right now players, you know, in Diablo two, the initial max for everything is seventy five. But with items like uniques that buff your max, you can get up to like ninety five percent. I think there is a similar feature in City of Heroes too. Like you can get your oh wait, we found Nilothok. Yeah, little coward he the is. The reason I don't really care for this guy too much is he is corpse explosion. <laughs> He's trying to steal my skills. He's a necromancer like TJ. But, uh, he's no match for us. Ha, 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 ha. Man, he no, I'm blowing crap. I'm, I'm blowing up his corpses now. <laughs> You've made a mess out of this place. Jeez. 
It's like you can't well. even see the floor. <laughs> I guess that takes care of that quest. Uh, so now we just keep climbing the mountain. Yep. That's all that's left to do. We have a certain challenge ahead of us. Mm hmm. Well, then, I think I'll drop down this town portal. And we'll see y'all next time on Operation Pixel.